It was a triumph for the tactics of staying calm and letting the hijackers defeat themselves. The 179 passengers were set free when the Iranian jumbo had been sitting on the tarmac right in front of the main terminal for just eight hours. Airport traffic flowed past normally, even though the gunmen had threatened to blow up their plane. There were six hijackers. They occasionally showed themselves through the cockpit window. Their first demand, made over the control tower radio, was part of the game. The French security forces, headed by the anti-terrorist squad, were told to get right away from the plane. They did instantly. But the hijackers' main demand was a meeting with the leader of their guerrilla group, the Mujahideen. He's Massoud Rajavi, who lives exiled in Paris. But he simply ordered them to free the hostages. And then, 90 minutes later, to come out and to give themselves up. It had been a tense 90 minutes, with the six hijackers still holding 18 crew members. They'd addressed Rajavi over the radio as commander, and what he told the hijackers to do, they did, though there were some agonising minutes of delay. The police search, contrary to earlier fears, revealed no explosives, but just two handguns. It had nevertheless been a dangerous day, as the hijackers themselves admitted on the radio. They had killed six people at the moment they took over the aircraft in Iran. Derek Taylor, News at 10, Paris.